Nakia Brandenburg. I have a bachelor's in professional English, a master's in educational leadership, and over five years experience teaching middle school language arts. Today I'm going to show you how to teach students pacing on reading tests. Now pacing is a very important skill because it helps with time management and it helps your students to organize their thoughts as they approach a reading test. One strategy that I created in the classroom is called the RIP strategy. And we would use this for any formative, summative, or classroom assessment. The first thing you want to do is have your reading material. And we're going to go to R. R tells us to read the directions and questions first. Because there are no directions, I can use my prior knowledge and know that I'm going to use this passage in order to answer the question. So now I'm going to the question, in which city was Colin Powell born? Next, I'm going to identify the keywords and link them to an element, standard, or objective. The keywords in this question are which city, so I know that I'm going to select a city. Also, I want to know when he was born or where he was born. So now I can go to the passage and begin reading, skimming and scanning until I come to that supporting detail that's going to give me my answer. Colin Luther Powell was born in New York City in 1937. I can now proceed to P, which tells me process of elimination. This is where I'm going to eliminate all of the answers that I know are incorrect. I know he wasn't born in Boston, Cincinnati, or Philadelphia. So it leaves me with my correct answer, which is S, select the correct answer. We know that he was born in New York City. This is Lakia Brandenburg, and I just showed you how to teach your students pacing on reading tests.